हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईश्वरी तनिक्षा चैनल दिस इज योर ईश्वरी मैम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ट्रिक टू सॉल्व आर डी आर डी इज नथिंग बट रिलेटिव डेंसिटी एंड वी डी वी डी इज वेपर डेंसिटी प्रॉब्लम सो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट लेटर सी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रिलेटिव डेंसिटी एंड वेपर डेंसिटी रिलेटिव डेंसिटी definition is it is the density of gas with respect to reference gas at same temperature and pressure so students here remember that relative meaning is whenever we are comparing two different gases comparison relative meaning is comparison so the density of two different gases we are comparing so that is the meaning of relative relative density so here it is the density of a gas with respect to reference gas so this reference gas can be any gas it can be any gas so any gas we are comparing with this gas at same temperature and pressure next is vapor density it is the density of gas with respect respect to hydrogen gas so this is the only difference here here reference gas here in vapor density reference gas is particularly hydrogen gas so relative density R D, relative density is equal to density of gas. We are comparing with density of reference gas. Reference gas. So students, next step is density is directly proportional to molar mass. Molar mass provided temperature and pressure is constant. so when temperature and pressure is constant we can say that density is directly proportional to molar mass that is d is directly proportional to capital m so now can we substitute this in place of d so relative density is equal to molar mass of gas divided by molar mass of reference gas reference gas so this is the formula to calculate relative density so in the question usually what they will do is uh, they will ask you to calculate uh, density of a particular gas reference gas will be given to you so you need to find out the density of that particular gas so now we will see vapor density so vapor density is vp vapor density is equal to density of gas divided by density of here reference gas can be anything so here reference gas is given as hydrogen gas so h2 gas h2 gas is the reference gas in case of vapor uh, density sorry vapor density vd so now this is equal to again here density is directly proportional to molar mass provided temperature and pressure are constant so now in place of d i can substitute m so molar mass of gas divided by molar mass of hydrogen gas and student what is uh, what is the molar mass for hydrogen gas molar mass for hydrogen gas is 2 so substitute here vapor density is equal to molar mass of gas divided by 2 so this is the equation so using this equation we are going to solve the problem now so let us see how to solve this question using the equation so what is the question here calculate density of so3 gas with respect to Uh, methane gas so methane gas is the reference gas which is given so reference gas so this is the gas for which density we need to calculate so what you will write here so instead of uh, asking you the question like this calculate relative density they will not ask calculate relative density instead of that they have asked calculate density so how you know that whether it is relative density or vapor density you need to calculate so here reference gas is given that is why if reference gas is not given then we will have to calculate vapor 
density because reference gas is hydrogen gas and they will not give in the equation so here relative density rd is equal to density of gas divided by density of reference gas which is methane gas here so this is equal to what we need to calculate is density of so3 gas so we know that density is directly proportional to molar mass so here in bracket we can write density is directly proportional to molar mass provided temperature and pressure are constant so now what we can substitute is this is equal to molar mass of so3 gas divided by molar mass of ch4 so what is the molar mass of ch4 ch4 molar mass is for carbon it is 12 and hydrogen 4 so which is equal to 16 so here this is equal to and for so3 for so3 molar mass is sulfur is 32 plus uh, oxygen one oxygen is 16 so three oxygen will be 16 threes of 48 so you will be getting here 80 So 80 divided by 16. So if you cancel, how much you will be getting? You will be getting here 5. So you can write here relative density is equal to 5. So what is the unit for this? It is unit less. Why it is unit less? Because density and density, whatever unit you write, it gets cancelled. So therefore, relative density doesn't have any unit. It is unit. less so next is vapor density of so3 gas you need to calculate so what is the formula for calculating vapor density vapor density is equal to you can write molar mass of gas divided by 2 so this is equal to so molar mass of gas molar mass of gas is here so3 divided by 2 so this is equal to so molar mass of so3 so how much is molar mass of so3 just now we have uh, found here which is 80 so 80 divided by 2 so how much will be getting 40 so therefore you can write here vapor density is equal to 40 and what is the unit for this again unit is not there so it is unit less so you will just write the number vapor density is equal to 40 so student is this uh, concept very easy for you did you understand so still if you have any doubts in solving this you can write in the comment box i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye